want to be a product junkie, you stay in the loose natural world because it ain't for you, sis. It ain't for you. Hello, beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel, Simply Key Simone, where we are growing spiritually, physically, and mentally while celebrating health, wealth, and happiness. If you are new here, I want to say hello, welcome, and if you're returning, I want to say welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing five tips that you need to know before locking your hair, before starting your lock journey, before getting rid of your TWA or your long fro or your relaxed hair, anything. You have got to know these five tips before you begin your journey. If you are interested, please keep on watching. All right, so tip number one. The first thing that you need to know before starting your lock journey is start your lock journey for yourself. I know that it is a really, really big fad right now to have locks. You know, people get faux locks. People are still getting, you know, Ghana twists and everything. Like that whole look is very, very popular right now. That earth mama look, like that natural look is so, so very popular right now. Do not get on social media or do not just want to, you know, copy somebody else's style just because they have locks. If you really, really want to lock your hair, do it for yourself. Do it because it's a spiritual journey that you want to embark on. You want to embrace your natural hair on that next level. Do it because you really, really feel called to. I highly suggest that you just, you know, think about it, meditate on it, like really just do your research. Do your research. Bottom line is make sure that you are starting your locks for yourself. Tip number two, other people's opinions do not matter. I wish that I would have known this before I started my journey. I wish I would have believed in this before I started my journey. Other people's opinions do not matter about your hair. I got told so many times, oh my God, your fro is so beautiful. Oh my God, your natural loose hair is so beautiful. You're gonna mess up your hair. Your curls are gonna be blah, blah, blah. I wish I had never listened to it. If I had never listened to it, I probably would have started back in 2013 when I officially started you know, transitioning to natural hair. I wasted so much time just thinking about, you know, my appearance, how I appeared to other people, you know, what they wanted to see me as instead of what I wanted to see myself as. It's something that I always thought was beautiful. I thought it was a journey, like the stages that you go through. I thought everything about it was so beautiful. If I had not cared about other people's opinions about my hair and my appearance earlier on, I would have started my lock journey so long ago. Once you have decided that this journey is for you, do it. Forget, forget everybody's opinions because there's not gonna matter in the end. What matters is what you think, what you feel, and what you want to do. Okay, tip number three. The third thing that you need to know before starting your lock journey. Do not become a product junkie. This is very important for your lock's health you do not want to have that same mindset as when you first went natural and you were trying all these creams, all these gels, all these, you know, waxes and everything like that. Do not do that. Don't do that. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Water, oil, aloe, maybe a light gel, and you know, a little edge control because you know, I, I need my baby hairs laid down. The products will not be easily washed out of your hair. Little do you know, inside of each strand of your locks, product stays in there. And if you're not cleansing properly, that product buildup is gonna cause your hair to stink. It's gonna cause your hair to smell really, you know, moldy. It's gonna stunt the growth of your hair. You know, your locks could thin based on the products you use and the ingredients. Just the safest thing to do is to not become a product junkie. If you wanna be a product junkie, you stay in the loose natural world because it ain't for you, sis. It ain't for you. The fourth thing that you need to know before starting your lock journey, keep people's hands out of your head. I'm gonna say it again. Keep as many hands as possible out of your head. 
I say this because everybody's lock styles and everybody's, you know, way that they do locks, twist locks, you know, interlocking, you know, palm rolling, like everybody has different, you know, strategies and how they want to do locks. And long story short, like, I just got tired of my hair looking completely different every time somebody else did it. I got tired of my some of my locks starting to seem like they were super thin in different places. So after that, I just started retwisting my own hair. If you are gonna have somebody else retwist your hair, stick to one loctician if possible. The fifth and final tip, the one thing, the most important thing that you need to know before starting your lock journey is to embrace every stage of your journey. I will say that again, embrace every stage of your journey, sis. It is so important to embrace the baby stage, the hot Cheeto stage, the, you know, sticking up in different spots. You know, this lock is going this way and this lock is going that way. This one is like, you know, sticking up like alfalfa, like this one's budding and this one's not, this one's short and this one's not, this one's shrunk and this one's getting long. Like embrace every stage, embrace the frizz, embrace the buds. It's really a fun process watching your hair go through so many stages. Like I never thought, and I think that I really underestimated the process because watching my hair go through so many stages has been the highlight of this entire journey. And just being able to know that I did it for myself and it's something that I can, you know, grow with and look back on, it just means so much. It is such a spiritual awakening with your hair. You think, you think, that you went through something going natural with your hair, but sis, just wait till you lock your hair. It's, it's so very rewarding. So always keep in mind those days when you're looking like, oh, this is not for me. Like you're gonna have to go through those stages and it is okay. It is still very beautiful. Lay them baby hairs down, put some oil in your hair, you know, moisturize and keep it moving, sis. Keep it moving because you're beautiful. You are so beautiful and you are gonna be so happy that you stayed committed. You are gonna be happy that you stayed locked in with your locks. All right, everyone, that wraps up the tips that I have for you. Before you start your lock journey, please leave me a comment below if you have already started your lock journey or if you're thinking about starting your lock journey, any questions, tips, or tricks that you may have. I am also planning on doing an updated retwist video and I do have a few locks that I want to combine and I think I'm going to make a video on how I plan on doing that as well. So if this video resonated with you, if my vibe resonated with you, please do not forget to hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up and make sure you share this video with someone who may need it. And until next time.